in just uh, three weeks from tomorrow. 7 Action News has been profiling the candidates in all the key races. Yeah, and tonight we're looking at Congressman Sander Levin running for re-election. But as Jim Kurtzer tells us, the boundaries were redrawn and Levin is now reaching out to voters in a new district. Sander Levin has been a Michigan congressman since 1982 and in elected politics since 1965. That longevity can work for you and against you. You need to have an open mind as to where you're going and talk a lot. Um, I, feel, uh, I feel enhanced, not entrenched. As the race for president goes in Michigan, so does the race for Sandy Levin and in the 9th District. Nobody knows it better than he does. The state is considerably better off. And that means a lot of people are better off. The auto industry had thousands of jobs. Are we better off? The auto industry was saved. The level of production annually fell to about nine million. Now it's over 14 million. And that's had an immense impact on, uh, on the state of Michigan, immense impact. The unemployment rate uh, was over 14 percent. Now it's down to around nine. Early polling shows President Obama leading Mitt Romney sorry, in Michigan. Jim, that means Levin can ride some coattails. Okay. I think the feeling about the president is it's getting better. It isn't good enough, but the hole was deep and we now are climbing out of it. And so the data show a, a somewhat uh, reverse picture when people are asked about uh, who, whom do you trust more in terms of the economy. The president is doing better and Governor Romney is doing worse, surely here in Michigan, but in other places too. Obamacare is on my list. I apologize, Mr. President. I use that term with all respect. By I the like way. It. Good. Okay, good. So, so I'll get rid of that. Health care, Obamacare is on the line in this election. And Levin says the reforms passed should not be rolled back, including saving seniors on the cost of their prescriptions. At the number of kids now who have health insurance on their parents, that wasn't true before. We're talking about tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. The number of people who no longer are told by insurance companies, you've reached your cap. The number of children in this state for whom a pre-existing condition can no longer disqualify them or their parents from insurance coverage for those children. That's a proud achievement. Levin speaks about not just recent issues, but impacts he's had during his long years in Congress. Decades ago when I ran in Macomb County, for example, uh, the percentage of kids of college age who were in higher ed was 10%. Now it's over 50%. But there's a partnership between the federal and the state and the private sector because uh, over 10,000 students at Macomb Community College receive some federal assistance through Pell Grants or through the loan programs and that's really important and I'm proud that I fought to keep the interest rate low over the opposition for a long time of Republicans in the House. We won that battle but it took fight and I was glad to be part of that fight. Every day simple tasks, driving our cars, we use energy, an issue that keeps Michigan and Congress linked. Over time, we're going to have to move away from con conventional fuels. It will take some time. It's at times a slow pace. But I think most people agree that eventually there has to be a shift. And cell technology, a few of us fought to try to make sure that the cell technology developed in the U.S. because we were relying on cells from Korea. And sometimes it's debated, but I think it's a mistake to, 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 to over-politicize the issue of energy because we're going to have to develop additional sources of energy for motor vehicles. They're a major source of pollution. And I'm proud this administration has moved to elevate the standards. You know, we worked out an agreement 
between the private sector and the government in terms of an increase in the miles per gallon that are required. Sander Levin is 81 years old and has spent more than half of his life in elected office. I'm Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And 7 Action News is fully committed to showing you both of the top candidates in this race. So tomorrow at 5 p.m., Dave Llewellyn will examine Levin's Republican opponent, Don Valeric. The two candidates last ran against each other, uh, each other back in 2010. After tomorrow's segment airs, we'll put both stories online for you at wxyz.com slash vote.